Unfortunately, there's been a shooting at Drake's house, man. Damn, damn, damn. No idea this has anything to do with the whole Kendrick beef. I doubt it. Um, because he lives in Toronto. If you know anything about Canada, you'll know that they have crazy gang problems over there. There's a ton of um, YouTube documentaries you can check out, which really break it down very, very well. But Canada's not a place to play with. Toronto's not a place to play with. Um, so I can imagine with Drake always keeping, you know, a road nigga or two on by his side or him just being involved in some stuff because there's loads of bars in Drake's tunes. Unless you're really plugged into the Canada, Toronto scene, you won't really clock. So I think a lot of them might have to do with stuff that's been happening on the streets over there that you wouldn't know unless you're plugged in, blah, 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 blah. But some people are suggesting it could be the Kendrick shit. I really doubt it. But regardless, um, Drake's house was shot up, um, actually. Oh, his mansion, sorry. Somebody shot on the outside and unfortunately struck his um, security guard or bodyguard. Now, I don't know if it's the bodyguard with a beard in the video or if it's somebody else. But allegedly, you know, somebody drove by in a car and shot the bodyguard. And they are in hospital at the moment with life-threatening injuries. I saw last time. So let's read the article courtesy of NBC News shooting outside of Drake's Toronto mansion leaves security guard injured so here's the article it says a shooting outside Drake's mansion let's get this clip off um, in Toronto early on early morning on Tuesday left security guard seriously injured police said the shooting happened just after 2 a.m. at a residence in Park Lane Circle a representative for the Toronto born out so for the Toronto born rapper who's made headlines since his beef with Kendrick um, said Drake was not injured it's not clear if the rapper was home at the time I guess he was home that's why they're talking about it I'm assuming when officers arrived at the residence they found a security guard suffering from an apparent gunshot wound inspector um, Paul Kresik said at a news conference the security guard was standing outside the gate when he was injured I've always been surprised I'm not gonna lie maybe I'm confused or maybe Toronto's actually really beautiful I've always been surprised that Drake being an international star that he is went back and actually built that mansion in toronto like he actually lives there full time he's obviously got homes all over the place but he lives in toronto more you know w way more months out of the year than not i was actually surprised by that i thought he would have just you know decided to live you know maybe somewhere in la or whatever in new york but yeah he's, he's actually he actually lives day to day in, in toronto which is interesting police said in a news conference or sorry police said in a news release that they believe the man was shot from a vehicle which then fled the scene he remains hospitalized in serious conditions, says a police officer. Um, he also said that they do not know how many suspects were involved. Police have been speaking with witnesses, canvassing the area for additional video. Anyone with information is asked to contact the police department. But I'm assuming, because it's Drake's mansion, most likely they've got video anyway. They just want additional video. There's definitely a video, a, a close circuit, you know, CCTV, sorry, around the premises for sure. It's definitely, especially, out, especially outside the gates. Um, I did read one time that they allowed Drake to build no more than normal more than normally high gates outside his mansion i think there's a particular height you're allowed to have the gates but he was allowed to build them extra high because obviously the you know how famous he is and shit police have been speaking to witnesses and cameras in the area for additional video anyone facing asked to contact police department i've actually got a clip here courtesy of the of the twitter that actually shows a police talking about it outside his mansion let's actually watch this quickly let me refresh the screen but there's actually a video here where the police person speaks about it and i think the media are already trying to spin it as a drake and kendrick beef which is fucking idiotic really especially if you have no evidence of it but you know media is always gonna media so i guess that kind of is what it is but let's listen to this press conference where the toronto police um you know what's that what's that what's that term? the toronto police integrated gun and task force providing an update jesus christ they're taking it seriously isn't it they got the gun force involved jesus all right let's see what they say here concerning what actually happened i'm curious to see what the actual developments are coming what they are from the actual horse's mouth and not from these stupid fucking people hey everyone i'm inspector paul krofcheck of the integrated gun and gang task force and uh i'm pleased to be here today i know there's a lot of interest in this incident and i hope you can also appreciate that information is very limited at this time so i only have so much what I do know, I will advise you of, and I will take a few questions at the end. This morning at about 2 a.m., police were called to a shooting at the residence behind me here. When officers arrived, they located a male who was suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. Damn. That male was taken to hospital in serious condition. That person was working, apparently, as a security guard at the residence. He was standing outside of the gates in front of the residence when the shooting occurred. 
We have uh, individuals who obviously performed the shooting who were seen in a vehicle. I do not have a description of the vehicle or the suspects at this time. Again, it's very early on in the investigation. I can't wait until, because you know it's already happening. I can't wait until the YouTube detectives get on it and find out who it is, because they're going to find out. It always happens this way, because gangsters nowadays are super loud they're super reckless super dumb so probably someone's going to post something online alluding to the fact that they did something blah 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 it's going to get out sooner rather than later it's going to get out for sure i cannot speak to a motive at this time because it's so early but as we get information we will share it with you anyone with information is asked to call 416-808 2510 or Crime Stoppers. You can expect to see an increased presence in this neighborhood for the next little while, but it's no different than any other shooting or firearm discharge. We'll have officers here looking for witnesses to come forward, as well as we can canvassing for video. I'll now take a few questions. I cannot confirm if Drake was home at the time the incident occurred. But I can tell you that we are in contact with his team and they are cooperating. To what extent is the rap beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar part of the <laughs> So I am aware of what you're talking about, but uh, it is so early in the investigation that so I we don't have a motive at this time. I'm aware. And so I cannot comment further. Accents, now. mad. The motive may not be confirmed if that is something that you're looking at, knowing that this beef crosses the borders into the U.S. Is there anything being done in the investigation? Jesus Christ, this, this reporter. So there is, this is no different than any other investigation, okay? Like, it's maybe more high profile because there's more people here, but we treat it like any other incident. So we'll be using all our resources. Our teams will be uh, doing as much as they can to investigate this, but it'll be no different than any other investigation at this time. So I can tell you that uh, all I'm going to say about the victim is that he's still in the hospital in serious condition. And I'm not going to dis- uh, uh, No, I'm not going to do it this time. Uh, this is obviously a, a very well-to-do uh, neighborhood. There's likely a lot of uh, video around. Have you guys begun your canvassing? Do you expect to get a good amount of video involved with this? Uh, I would be surprised if we didn't. Uh, I can say that we've already collected some uh video evidence which uh captures the incident you said suspects plural can you say are we talking two three or more no idea at this time i'm not going to get into uh specifics about the investigation at this time just that it uh, a vehicle was involved and then fled anyway you get the gist of what happened there um i wonder if this is thinking about it didn't that guy recently get shot from um the weekend's crew didn't something happen outside of his house I wonder if this is retaliation for that. Yeah, something happened recently, right? Yeah, there we go. Security so guard shot outside twelve million dollar Encino Encino mansion owned by Cash XO, who's I guess the manager of XO, which is obviously the Weekends Group Collective record label thing. Um, a security guard was shot and injured outside a twelve million dollar mansion in the upscale Encino community Monday morning, prompting a search for three suspects. Um, the shooting happened at 2.45 a.m. on Jaden Lane near Encino Avenue, according to Los Angeles Police Department. It happened at the home owned by Amir Esmialian, an Iranian-Canadian music industry executive and co-manager of the Music Eyes The Weekend. Um, Esmalian, who is known by the industry as Cash XO, also worked with the artist Travis Scott. Yeah, so I wonder if this is a retaliation for that. That's wild, though, isn't it? They got, they got, they got shooters over in fucking Toronto to go get some get back for cash. So your bodyguard gets dumped, my bodyguard gets dumped. We're gonna go for, to war. By the way, look at LA fucking prices of mansions. Again, I don't know the house. I haven't seen it. I don't know what it looks like. But twelve million dollars for only a seven bedroom mansion is pretty steep, isn't it? I don't know about you, but I think twelve million for only seven bedrooms is not that much. God damn it, bro prices of homes in la are crazy the view of the a 70 hd show the investigators focusing attention on the back of the home where basketball court are seen with ensemble of xo okay so there's a there's actually a picture of it i don't know what i can't don't come with to get it up um it's very safe neighborhood so yeah maybe that's uh 
retaliation for what happened to Cash. Maybe. Either way, I'm pretty crazy that Drake's involved in the shooting, especially when you consider the level of artist that he is, right? He's, you know, mainstream as it gets, the number one rapper out there, but he's also not somebody that you would attribute to, you know, this level of violence or gang activity. So um, maybe it's showing there is a little bit of an edge to him or whatever's going on there, who knows? But I'm sure we're going to find out exactly what's happening within the next couple of weeks and shit when all the YouTube detectives get on it and goons start talking and posting pictures. It's going to get out there for sure. It's going to get out there. Um, I'm hoping it's nothing to do with Kendrick. If it is, then the beef has definitely gone ugly. It's already gone kind of ugly because they're calling each other, you know, women beaters and pedos and shit. But if this is a Kendrick escalation, oof, this beef's going to get tasty especially for the listeners obviously if everybody involved safety wise it's going to be peak but again as just a pure fan of music it's going to be fucking tasty so um blessings and prayers to all involved hopefully they can record some more tunes selfishly so we can listen to and we're going to keep on going and we're going to keep on going